13 to 20 named storms, where the average is 14, six to 10 hurricanes, and the average is seven, and um, three to five major hurricanes, uh, where the average is three. So that was the update from the Canadian Hurricane Center for the 2021 season ahead. And it looks like it will be a busy one for the Atlantic Basin. This comes on the heels, of course, of the most active hurricane season ever on record last year. Now, typically 34% of named storms, or four on average, find their way into Canadian waters. So with more storms predicted, there's a pretty strong chance that we might see a few more storms than usual up in Atlantic Canada. The Royal Meteorological Organization has already issued the list of hurricane names for 2021 from a list that's rotated every six years. I find naming storms just as fascinating, by the way. The first named storm of 2021 was Anna, which formed in mid-May, over a month before the official start of the season, which is June 30th. Also this year, a new supplemental list of names has been put in place for the first time in the event they run out of names. On previous rare occasions, like last year, when the main list was used up, the Greek alphabet was used. When a storm causes severe damage or loss of life, the World Meteorological Organization also retires the names and replaces it on that six-year rotating list with another name. The name Dorian, for example, was retired after the storm wreaked havoc from the Bahamas to Nova Scotia in 2019. So no more Dorian. Now, there are often clues as to what kind of season ahead we'll have. And this year, it does look like we've got dramatically warmer waters once again that's upping that forecast. The other factor is wind shear. La Nina, which is a phenomenon in place last year, usually means less wind shear. This year, we're in neutral, so it's hard to say if the Achilles heel will be present for the storms or not. And climate change is an area that we're making more and more connections to with hurricanes. But we know that they're stronger, they're rapidly intensifying, they're taking longer to dissipate on land, they're getting caught up in blocked patterns, and the impacts from them, like storm surge and rain, are becoming greater because of climate change. We just don't have enough data to say if we're seeing more of them yet. But climate change does mean that parts of Canada will need to prepare for stronger hurricanes this year and in the years to come. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.